Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on this week on this episode of Let's Talk About What Happened to My Butt. And <laughs> those who watched my stream the other day kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, the title of this video is going to be Let's Talk About Aftermath of the Surgery. So you can kind of put two and two together. I had to have surgery on my butt. Um, and it was, it was terrible. It's still terrible right now. Um, so if you guys will follow me on uh, the stream the other day, I talked a little bit about it. Um, internal and external hemorrhoids, as well as something called a colon fissure, which I didn't know I had this until they was in the operating room. Um, so let's give you a little spill. Uh, I went in on Monday. I talked to my surgeon and everything, and he said, you know, we have to get this done like soon, like tomorrow. It's like, okay, we'll, we'll do that. We'll just do, plan on doing it tomorrow. Um, so that's what we did. He got me in like the next day for surgery. It was a little, very late in the day. I didn't get out of the hospital till like nine something. Uh, the surgery started around six. Um, but he went in, told me what I was going to do and everything. And they put me under anesthetic. But not before I was able to put in a little bit of butt puns. Because, you know, when you're having surgery on your butt... It's always good to have a good butt pun. Um, so they take me in and, you know, the anesthesiologist, which I'm pretty sure I fucked up the name of that. He looks at me. He says, so what's going on today? I said, well, I think you guys are going to be tearing up on my butt. And he's like, well, you already have a crack in your butt. Now it's another butt joke. So we're, we're, right now we're at three, two or three butt jokes in. And I was like, no, uh, they're going to put something on my butt. It takes some stuff out of my butt and, you know, put me to sleep. So the nurse comes up to me and she's getting me all prepped and stuff. And she started talking about Pokemon because I got a Pokemon tattoo. And uh, she started making more butt jokes. So I said, the only thing I remember at that point was I said, man, it sucks. I'm the, I'm the butt of everybody's joke. And all I hear was the uh, doctor. He says, that's, that's it. That's the last one. And after that, I don't know what happened. The procedure take, took around 45 minutes to an hour. Um, they went in, repaired some stuff, fixed my butt. Um, but they did tell me that uh, there will be a lot of pain. And I swear to God, I feel like somebody got up in my butt, took some post hole diggers, and literally just ripped my butt like in all kinds of different places with post hole diggers or th fingernail clips because it fucking hurts like really bad. Um, <laughs> I haven't been able to get much sleep and this is actually my third time trying to film this due to the fact the last time I tried to film it, it didn't go correctly. The sound was off, which I just had to make sure just now <laughs> to make sure it was. Um, but no, it, was, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Still not fun. They gave me some pain meds. Ran out of said pain meds. They only gave me four days worth. And I'm not able to get them until the 16th. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I ran out of what they gave me. And it, I'm telling you, it's the worst pain. Um, if you ever have a hemorrhoid or something like that, and it's like, hey, let's get up in your butt and take some things out of your butt, think about it. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's the worst pain. Like, I'm, it, it fucking sucks. And it's, it's bad enough that prior to this surgery taking place, the person who was scheduling it, she was like, you know, asked me what I'm going to be having done. And she said, oh, my. She stopped in the conversation. She was like, oh, my. I just had this done a while back. She said, put her out for six weeks. But she said, you know, she would have rather went through childbirth without anesthetic. I kind of believe that. I kind of do. I kind of do. I haven't been sleeping. Um, I've been up every hour on the hour uh, trying to poop. Finally, I can poop now. Uh, there's going to be a lot of poop talk in here. Shit talk all day long. Sh poop, poop, poopy video. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it sucks. Man, I'm telling you. I I'm glad it's done. And I really am because, you know whenever I'm healed up and stuff, I can finally not have to worry about things hurting when I uh, do number two. 
but yeah, yeah, not fun, not fun at all. And, and you know, this is this this can be a funny video if you want it to be. It can be funny. Be like, hey, there's a fat guy on the internet talking about getting things stuck up his butt. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah, we're, we won't talk about butt anymore. My butt. But anyways, um, doctor did say there will be some pain, and um, you know, usually on the internal side of things, you know, you expect about three to four day turnaround the healing factor is usually pretty quick um but where he had to do the inside and the outside and they found a fissure um it complicated things um but he said you know you might still be filling us for at least four or five weeks down the road which i guess i'm prepared for it um anyways let's, let's stop talking about my ass for a moment and let's talk about a couple other things um Soda, diet, diet thing so far. I've not really drank any soda. I've limited myself. I've been trying to get myself completely off of it. So I've literally, I think one, I, I've had one pot of soda like in two or three days. So I was usually drinking like three or four cans of soda a day. So I, I, I find that's, that's how helpful um, in the long run. Once I start yeah, exercising, which, you know, walking and stuff right now is not going to be a thing until my ass fills up. Um, <laughs> I got some doctor's office appointments and uh, we're going to get some stuff straightened out. Um, this thing right here, it's all full of my meds. Um, if you can see it there. There are like 12 pills in that each day. So I'm trying to get off some of these pills because I, you know, I think some of them are kind of counteracting uh, with other things and I want to get off of as many as possible. Um, so the health thing is, it's getting better. Um, I'm still having a hard time. I miss, I miss my fiance a lot. Um, I really do. It's like, it's going on uh, over a month now. I haven't got to see her. Uh, I've got to talk to her a few times. Um, we try to talk as much as we can through Facebook, um, stuff like that. And I mean, it's kind of hard. Uh, she just got a job and, uh, I'm pretty happy. She's pretty happy about that. And, um, yeah, I just miss her. It, it's kind of lonely. You know, I've got my family and my friends down here, but, um, man, her and I has been through so much. Like it's, it's been crazy. Um, but you know, I, I was talking to my brother the other day about, uh, you know, doing videos again and streams and, you know, I, I have, have a couple people that's been following me. My channel's not big by any means, but I do get some people that's uh, pretty supportive, uh, random people that, you know, I don't even know these people, but they come to me. They come and they watch this, watch me talk about stuff, and they're supportive, and I, I, that's awesome. And I stopped talking to my brother about it, and then he said, you know, maybe you should start doing it some more. And I was like, you know what, I think I will. Um... And as today, I promise there will be one today. Um, and as the final boss of the of Reddit, um, <laughs> a shout out to you. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to make sure I get this out today. I am hurting. This video is not going to be that great, but you know, it, it's it, it is what it is. Once I get up, I'm, I'm literally sitting on this cushion they gave me. Um, it gives me some support because uh, I I can't. It's hard for me to like sit up, sit, stand up, you know, sit down, all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, the gist of it is I'm still in pain. I'll be in pain for a while. And once it's over with, it'll be worth it. Uh, then we can start, you know, exercising and stuff. Um, other than that, um, I, I think this week I'll be doing another stream or two. I may put out another content. I kind of want to talk about, uh, the um, Logan Paul situation. Uh, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it, but I kind of want to dive into it a little bit. So I may make a video later this week kind of talking about that, just to kind of give you my opinion on it. It's not really a good opinion. Um, well, to Logan, it's not. I don't know the guy, but, you know, that's a douchey thing to do. Um, and I'm sure he's, you know, getting a lot of hate for it. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, I want to say take it easy, guys. I will be back later this week with some more videos. And uh, thank you for sticking up with this almost 10-minute video. And you guys have a great day.